Active leaps, always good for practice anyway, so might as well incorporate vibrato in them. Um, what I mentioned to you before is that lower and higher pitches really should get different widths of vibrato, otherwise it's going to sound weird. And you may have heard yourself or some other players have kind of like on the top a, a vibrato that's inherently too slow, that kind of wobble sound, that's because that vibrato for that pitch level isn't right. If you have that vibrato down here, it might sign, sound uh, nice and warm. So this exercise, I'm going to challenge you to work through the octaves and get different speeds. Okay? So we have, let's do A's. Okay? Slow, right? Medium. Fast. And super fast. All right, let's pick a B. Again, we're going to really train the, the brain and the hands to go slow, medium, a little bit smaller and faster, and fastest. This is almost like a finger vibrato. I do it with a straight finger. You can, you can do it curved or straight, but you can go through all your octave leaps like that. It's good for the upper fingerboard anyway and make those adjustments as you go through the pitch range to learn to control your mechanism.